I'm me, you're you, and this is our school news. The Dolphin Daily starts soon. Happy Monday, Ripples. Thanks for joining us as we report live from the location where the pilgrims reportedly landed in 1620, where the Mayflower Compact was written. That's right, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Currently, in the U.S., Thanksgiving is, is a holiday that is recognized on the fourth Thursday in November. The first Thanksgiving was actually celebrated sometime between the end of September and November. As a matter of fact, it wasn't until 1817 that the New York was the first state to adopt Thanksgiving as an annual custom. Further, it was President Roosevelt Franklin that, was, that set the date for Thanksgiving as the fourth Thursday in November and a point approved in by Congress in 1941. Originally, Thanksgiving was a three-day holiday that was based upon the completion of the farming harvest. In modern times, many people celebrate with big meals, football, and family. Did you know that the U.S. isn't the only country to have a Thanksgiving custom? Canada has an, a Thanksgiving celebration in October, and Asian countries also celebrate the har the harvest at various times during the year. Enough about history, let's get to the news. You know that we have a very short week. We'll be back tomorrow, but then we have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. A five-day weekend. Take time to get over, over to the Edison Fort Winter Estates to see the gorgeous tree that, that was decorated by FMMA students that in Miss Hans' class, classes have spent time creating Beautiful tropical flowers using recycled materials. The tree is spectacular, and many of you have contributed. Contributed. Thank you for all the students who painted and created the wonderful decorations. Get by to see the finished product, and thank you to Miss Han, Mr. Sazo, and Coach Weber for getting your work set up on display. And, and breaking news, there will be no school activities tomorrow, November 24th, here at FMMA. In other words, our Thanksgiving break will, will begin at 4 p.m. This includes Homer Cuddle, obviously. As we sign off, let's give a shout-out to our math teachers because today is Fibonacci Day. Leonardo of Pisa, better known as Fibonacci, is responsible for the Fibonacci sequence. A pattern of counting where which number is the sum of the previous two, as well as being prevalent or common in nature. This, wide, this is widely used in the computer data storage system and processing. And Fibonacci Day recognizes the importance and value of Fibonacci's contributions to mathematics. Happy Fibonacci Day, everyone! We'll close once again with Brianna demonstrating how you say Happy Thanksgiving in silent language. Happy Thanksgiving! Thanks, Brianna, and let's make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.